What's up, everybody? Wade Boggs fan here. Friday night. Love Fridays. End of the work week, beginning of the weekend. Hope everyone has some good plans for the weekend while it's still somewhat warm out before fall and then winter hits, but uh, still able to do some things outside with the semi nice weather. But um, anyway, uh, today's video is another mail day, mail week video, and I, I kept the mailman, actually technically mail lady, um, busy this week. Uh, several single card packages uh, arrived, a bunch of them actually arrived today. Um, we got some Wade Boggs cards to show off, and a couple 78s and a couple 79s for my vintage PSA collection. So I'm going to be turning the camera around and, and show them off, but before I do, uh, don't forget to check out my 250 subscriber contest video uh, that I posted uh, two days ago, I think. Uh, finally reached that uh, that mark and given some <clears throat> given some packs away to, to open to the contest winner. So go check that out and start uh, hopefully thinking about uh, a video that you can post to enter the contest. So with that, I'm going to turn the camera around and show what I got in the mail this week. All right, as usual, I'm going to start off with the Wade Boggs cards that uh, I picked up. And uh, we'll start off with uh, the 2020 Allen and Ginter base card. I think this is the first time that Topps has used an image of Boggs in a double raise uniform for Allen and Ginter. I think up to this point, if I recall correctly, he's only been featured in a Red Sox uniform, so not even a Yankees, um, I, don't, I don't believe. Um, but uh, this, that's a really good image of him right there. And I agree with some of the others that have opened some Allen and Ginter. Uh, this year's design I really like, especially the uh, pastel color blend in the background. Um, they seem to use colors that, that match, um, complement the, the uniform and the player and so on. So I, I think this is a really nice box card. And there's the base back to it. Then I also picked up the silver. Um, I guess the, the hot boxes or whatever have uh, silver version cards. And I think maybe all the cards in the packs, I, I, I think, are silver. But uh, that has a little bit of a nice shine. Not really a refractor, per se, but just a little bit of a shininess to it. Same back. Then I picked up a Allen Ginter Mini with the, the Allen Ginter back. Smaller version there. And... This one was to be the base Allen & Ginter Mini. I looked at the listing, and it was for the base, but I got another Allen & Ginter back. It's no big deal. Uh, I'll pick up the base Mini again. I think that cost me $1.50. So it's, it's no big deal, but uh, <gasps> heaven forbid I have a duplicate. That's fine. It's Alan and Ginter. Love the card. Don't mind having two. Um, but yeah, now I gotta reacquire the base mini, but again, that's that's no big deal. And I also picked up the gold border. I think this is a retail. I think the gold is a retail exclusive. Um, I think I saw, but um and the basic there. And the last Boggs card is one of those uh, art cards. Um, it was produced, I believe, by CPG Customs. Um, it's not serial number. It's not a one of one. But I, I, I've seen one like this before. And it models the, um, well, it has a 1987 Donner's design. But I think this 
card was in 95 Donneris, and I think featured Don Mattingly and Dave Winfield for the 95 batting crown, I think. Um, so this artist here basically just did, you know, two for the title, Boggs and Mattingly in 87. And Boggs uh, won at 357 to 352. And it just talks about, I'll, I'll just pause it there so you can read uh, the back, it'll probably go down to last weekend. Mattingly told reporters, I don't feel like I'll fall off, and I don't think he'll fall off. Uh, Mattingly batted 352 for the year. Very impressive. But, of course, Boggs was slightly higher, 357. Boggs batted leadoff in the first game of the fateful 1986 World Series. Yeah. This is for the uh, 86 title. I'm sorry, it said... 87 is the 87 Donner's design, but it was for the batting title in 86. So neat little art card uh, to, to pick up. Um, it was only a few bucks, I think. But uh, there you have it for the Wade Boggs cards. Now to the my vintage pickups. Again, I picked up two 78 Hall of Famers and two 79 Hall of Famers. Uh, we'll look at the 78s first. All these are PSA 8. First one is Jim Hunter, Catfish Hunter, on the Yankees. I think he had been on the Yankees maybe his third year now. Um, fourth. Fourth year. Uh, went to the Yankees in 75. So, pretty sharp card. Um, again, didn't break the bank, which is the most important. And another Hall of Famer off the list. Or, yep, checked off. And the last one, I'd been, this one took me a little while to, to find again in the grade and for the price point that I wanted. It's the 78 rookie pitchers, Jack Morris rookie. So that one's a little diamond cut, but still, it's a nice, nice looking card there. Off center, top to bottom on the back, but again, no big deal. But overall, nice card of Jack Morris. Moving on to the 79s, um, Burt, be home Bly Levin, Pirates Uni there, the, uh, I don't know what they call it, the, the pillbox cap of the Pirates there. Um, man, that's a lot of stripes going on. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was the 79, well actually 78, because the photo was taken probably in 78, but uh, Pirates went on to win the World Series, I believe, in 79. There's the back. Pretty nice centered back. Um, really nice centered. So unless it's the corners, I think the surface may have a little bit of uh, some wear on it that may have brought it down to an eight there down in the Pirates. But yeah, that's, that's fine with me. Jeez. All right. And the last one. Uh, I had picked up the 78. I think I showed it in my last mail day video. I now have the 79 of Lou Brock. Nice looking card there. There's the back. Yeah, it's getting getting close to those corners there on the back, but uh, still nice. And by that time, he had picked up, uh, was that 20, 2,900 hits on the dot after the 78 season. Exactly, 2,900. And, of course, he'd finish with over 3,000. So, there you have it. Finish off with the great Lou Brock right there. That's all I have for you tonight. Um, I actually, uh, well, I don't want to spoil it, but the, the video that I'll probably be posting on Sunday... Um, get to have a little fun with let's just say i i there's i got surprised pick something up and um yeah that's all i'll say for now so as always i really appreciate it and thanks for watching